most of us go to the pool for fun. But for these officers, it's a matter of life and death. That's where mistakes Officer are Shane Nye knows firsthand. We can end up being a casualty ourselves if we don't train properly and we don't look out for, uh, for all the safety, the hazards in the region. Sergeant Andy Carlstead gives us an example. Uh, the PWC accident that happened, there's probably 50 to 100 gallons of diesel fuel on the surface of the water. They're having to dive and deal with the diesel fuel. Uh, you get that odor and the smell inside your mask, but they maintain. And for the times they can't see, they use this. Uh, we use it as a toad, as a toad sonar that we, uh, that we use behind a boat. It'll give a side image on either, uh, image on either side. Even to the point of having a dummy at the bottom of the pool. Now, despite this type of training, the realities can still get to them. I have three daughters and six grandkids, and bringing Mariah out of the water, that's the only thing I thought about, to be honest with you. These same officers who spent days in the swamp looking for Mariah Woods also went to the bottom of this pond to look for Raul Johnson Gonzalez. In this particular case, they teamed up with the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office, giving them strength in numbers. Confidence in your partner. It, 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 it not, not only reinforces the skills that you have, but you, get, you better know the person that you're working with or that you're diving with. It's grim, yes, but a silver lining to the job is offering closure for the community and for the parents involved. It's not why we do what we do, but uh, it gives us, I guess it is rewarding to do that.